Hello everybody, in this video we're going to make a scratch game that throws the ball into the cup. We're going to learn about the turn and the repeat blocks. Alright, let's get going. So here's what the game looks like. I'm going to use the left and right arrows to turn the cat, and that will adjust the angle. And then I'll use the up and down arrows to adjust the power of my throw. And when I land it in the cup, I get success. It's a lot like the tank games on Math is Fun, in case you've ever played these games before. And here are the blocks you'll need to know how to use for this program. The first is the green flag. This is how we start all of our programs. Every sprite should have a green flag. We'll use the point in direction block, which points the sprite in a particular direction. And here are the new blocks that we're going to use for this lab. The first is a turn, turn clockwise, and the second is turn, turn counterclockwise. And these turns are relative to where I am pointing right now, which make them different from the point in direction block. And the next new block is the repeat block. Anything that's inside of the repeat will repeat. So this particular example, I'm turning 15 degrees clockwise 10 times, and it looks kind of like this. So again, three new blocks, turn clockwise, turn counterclockwise, and repeat. Okay, so here is the lab walkthrough. I'm logged into my account, my test account. I'm going to copy and paste the starter code into the browser. I'm going to click enter, and it will take me to either this page or a different page, but no matter which page it is, I'm going to click remix. So this saves it into my account. The first thing I'm going to do is change this name. So I'm going to delete everything after 003 throw ball in cup and put my name, which here is going to be Dr. Wu videos tester. I'm going to save it. So file, save now, and now I'm ready to go. And let's start. So the instructions, this will create a game where the cat tries to throw the apple into the bowl. One, add a green flag at the very top, before the forever. The flag is in events. I'm gonna get the flag, the flag, and put it to the top. Remember, every single sprite should have exactly one green flag. Two, under if key right arrow pressed, add turn clockwise five degrees. Just like with the last lap, all you need to know is that this will always check to see if that right arrow is pressed. And if it is, I'm going to turn clockwise by five degrees. So I should test this out. I'm going to click the flag. I'm going to click the right arrow and this should turn and it does. So that's good. Step three. Under the if key left arrow pressed, add a turn counterclockwise by five degrees. So I'm going to add that right now. This is the counterclockwise turn by five degrees. I'm going to test it. So here I'm turning counterclockwise with the left arrow, and this is clockwise with the right arrow. Left arrow, right arrow. So that's good. Four, under the green flag, add a point in direction 90. So this is something that I need because I'm changing the direction that I point whenever I click those arrows. So if I change it, I need to set it first. So here I'm adding the point in direction 90. And let's try that out. Click the flag. It looks like it's pointing 90. I can turn in any direction I like. But if I click the flag one more time, it points in 90. So that's good. Five, under when I receive reset, that's right here. I want it to set it to spin in celebration when the apple lands in the bowl. So the reset happens whenever the apple lands in the bowl and I want it to spin. So I want to add a repeat 10 and this is in control. So the repeat, repeat 10. And I want it to turn 36 degrees. So let's do that now. And what that means is the reset happens whenever the apple lands in the bowl. And when that happens, it's going to repeat 10, a turn of 36. So basically that is a full rotation, 360 degrees. So let's try this out. To get this to work, I need to have the apple land in the bowl. So let's try that out. There it goes. And there's the spin. Try the next stage out. I can control how far the apple goes with the arrow keys. There's my spin in victory. And 
And there it goes. So I can play this for as long as I like. I can also submit this to the autograder. I'll do that right now. I have the link, open up a new tab, select my lab, which is catch. Going to download my lab, file, save to your computer, and click save. Back to the autograder, choose the file, select my throw the ball in the cup file, submit for autograding, and it's good. If you'd like to make more stages, you can do that by going to the ground sprite here. So here's the ground sprite. I'm going to go to the costumes. Each stage is a new costume. And so if I want a new stage, I need to make a new costume. I'll go to here, choose a costume, paint, and from there, I can make a new stage. And that's what you do if you want to make more stages to this game. And that's it. Hope you had fun. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.